What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more Regulation D teams for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are using the brand new 4th Genie Enamorous. You guys already know the deal, if you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on man, click that big red subscribe button to stay up to date on all of my Regulation D teams. But like I said, we are using Enamorous today, which is a brand new Pokemon, have not really got the chance to use it too much, used it a tad bit in the past, but today we're going to be fully showcasing it. It has Life Orb, it has Contrary, this Pokemon is the real deal. With this team... We have our first Pokemon, top left hand corner, like we always get started at. We got Urshfu. Urshfu, top tier in the meta. You guys are going to see plenty of this Pokemon. He has Unseen Fist, Hit Through Protects, the Focus Sash has his item, and it's got Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and Protect, which I believe to be the best moveset for Urshfu. Second Pokemon is going to be Grimmsnarl, and if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I love a good old Screens Grimmsnarl, but this one is a little bit different. I'm not used to this Grimmsnarl right here, but it looks pretty good. He has Prankster and the Covert Cloak with Fake Out, Parting Shot, Scary Face, and Spear Break, so he can drop Physical Attack, Special Attack, and Speed. So, really liking Grimmsnarl, going to be great on that support side. In the third slot is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Enamorous. Very in flying typing. That is absolutely amazing. It has Springtide Storm as its signature move. Moonblast, Protect, and Earth Power. And last but not least, the Life Orb as item, which is absolutely amazing. Making this thing do as much damage as it possibly can. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Tornadus. Do I even have to say anything about this Pokemon? Kind of. A little bit. Prankster, Safety Goggles, Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Protect, Rain Dance. You guys are going to be seeing this Pokemon all over the place. I'm already getting sick and tired of talking about it. Amoongus is in our 4th slot, or not 4th slot, 5th slot as a nice little support guy. He has Regenerator with the Rocky Helmet, and he has Spore, Rage Powder, Pollen Puff, and Clear Smog. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Stone Journer. Stone Journer has that power spot ability to boost the attack around ally Pokemon. He also has Scissor Spray, Rock and Rock Slide, Wide Guard, Low Kick, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that casual ladder and try to showcase the enamors in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. We're loading into our first match, and if you guys want to support me a little bit extra above subscriptions, make sure you guys become a member to the Jeans channel. Link is down in the description below to become a member, and there is also a join button, so either or works. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Zapdos team with Heatran, Shen Pao, and Dragonite, which is always a problem. And then they also have Urshifu and... Amoongus. I feel as Enamorous could be really, really good, except for up against Heatran. I mean, we do have Earth Power, which is four times super effective, so that could also be really good. So I'm going to go Enamorous right off the rip. Um, who else do I want to lead here? I could go Tornadus. I am scared of first turn priority. That could be a little bit of a problem, but I might just lead Grimstone here and then potentially Parting Shot out. I mean, what's your speed, Enamorous? How fast are you? That's the real question. 158. I mean, your speed's not bad. I feel as some of their Pokemon will outspeed you. So I might just go in with Tornadus. If we go Tornadus, Zapdos could definitely become a lead here too. So you know what? I might just go Power Spot with a Stone Journer. I might just do that. Bring Tornadus in the back end with Urshifu. I can get down. We'll Power Spot Stone Journer right off the rip. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So let's see who they end up leading. Let's see who they go into. Um, if they do go Dragonite and Shen Pao, that could be a little bit of a problem. I might just protect the Enamorous and kind of just go into a Rock Slide. That might be your best bet. But Power Spot Stone Journer boosts his attack of ally Pokemon by 30%, so pairing it up with pretty much anybody is really, really good. They do end up going Dragonite and Shen Pao. A little scary, I don't like it one bit. But again, I feel as from here, we should just protect Enamorous and kind of just rock into the rock slide, correct? Makes the most sense. We won't Terrasalize just, just yet. So I'm going to protect. I'm just going to go into rock slide. It's pretty simple. I mean, what's your terror type? It is rock. Do I do that? No, I'm going to save my Terra. I am going to save my Terra. I'm going to save my Terra. So I could do that, but again, I think Dragonite's multi-scale, so we're not killing it regardless. And then Shen Pao's probably Focus Sash. So I don't think we're picking up KOs regardless of it. Ends up going into an Ice Spinner. We block it. Let's see what Dragonite ends up doing. I'm kind of curious to see what this Pokemon's doing. Low kicking me, maybe? Tries doubling down into Enamorous, so great protect from us. Stone is going to be able to pop this nice, lovely little Rock Slide. And who are we missing? Who's dodging? Dragonite dodges it? Of course he does. We pick up some big time damage. I really like that. Um, From here. What do we do from here? I could just swap Enamorous into like Tornadus. But I feel that's probably like Terra type is going to reapply. Maybe not, right? I mean, do you outspeed? 
I think you should be able to outspeed Dragonite. We're gonna go for the Springtide Storm. Actually, we're just gonna go Moonblast. Straight into Dragonite. I'm with it. I'm gonna Thrasilize. And then on top of that, just go for the uh go for the rock slide. Cause I believe Shen Pao is faster than Enamorous, but Enamorous is faster than Dragonite, which is really, really good for us. Cause we should be able to eat up an Ice Spinner now that we're Terrasilize. And we should be able to get after this match. I don't mind if Enamorous goes down if we can get rid of both these Pokemon, right? I feel like that could be a really good trade-off for us. So Shen Pao ends up just protecting. I'm cool with that. You still going for your Iron Head into me? I do outspeed, which is big time. So I'm gonna be able to drop this Moonblast. Gonna do some big time damage onto you. Is that through multi-scale? Was that through multi-scale? We just rip some damage. We just rip some damage. Absolutely rip some damage. We had the power spot too, which is big time. So he Namrish just dump it on that Dragonite, which is big time from us. Big, big time from us. I'll take that all day. We had stab. We had everything going. I do have earth power to get rid of this Heatran. So I am going to roll in with an earth power on the Heatran here. And then... I think I just drop another Rock Slide, right? Try to get rid of that Shen Pao. Because I can deal with Heatran later. And our opponent just cancels. We take that all day. Enamorous tearing it up here in match number one. It was definitely going to dump on that Heatran that turn. Loading into our second match. And that first match was just so perfect. Protected our, our Enamorous in turn one. Landed that double protect. Then just went off from there. We one shot the Dragonite with Moonblast. We were going to take out the Shen Pao next turn, and then Heatran was gone anyway. Like, we were going to drop that thing if it did not Thrasilize with Earth Power. So we were really thriving. Our opponent made the right decision by canceling. But second match is on its way. We're going up against a Mono Water team. Actually, not Mono Water. I lied. But a, but a Rain team. They got, uh, what's that Pokemon called? Quillfish's new Paldean form. We're not Paldean. Uh, Hisuian form. Over Quill. Then they got Basque Legion. Swift Swim Basque Legion, I should say. Alongside with Pelipper. Who they're probably going to lead. Kind of going to be annoying. And then Quackwaball, Toxicroak, and Thunderous. How should I play? I feel like we have to go Tailwind here. Tailwind's got to be our best friend. So I'm going to go Tailwind Pokemon. I am also going to go Enamorous. I really like it for the lead. Urshifu. And then last but not least, Grimmsnarl or Rocky Helmet Amoongus. Hmm. What can you really do? Nothing too much. I say we just go Grimmsnarl. Grimmsnarl has a pretty solid moveset. And I really, really like it. So we're going to look to get off some big damage here. Get things started off hot. Let's see who they're going to lead. It's got to be the Swift Swim Squad, right? At that point, I just Tailwind. I can start throwing some big old Moon Blasts or even Springtide Storms, which is a really cool signature move that I haven't used yet. But yeah, Enamorous is a really cool Pokemon. I've been liking it. I've been liking it for the for the few times I used it on the Casual Ladder. But Overquill comes out here. I don't really know what Overquill does too much. It kind of scares me, right? Overquill kind of scares me. I know it's Poison type. It's Poison and something else. So I could just drop an Earth Power into that. Let me see your typing. Poison and Dark. Okay, I, I see you. I feel you. Um, I think I just Bleak Wind Storm and an Earth Power into that thing. I think that's my play all day. He goes for an Acupressure. What does that do? What did that just do? It raises evasiveness. That's kind of scary. Luckily, Bleak Wind Storm lands 100% of the time. Doing some big time damage. And Earth Power is going to fly here. So that was actually like a, a cool idea to actually do that. But at the same time, I have moves that land 100% of the time with Springtide Storm and Bleak Wind Storm in the rain. So he ends up Tailwinding. I'll match your Tailwind next turn. I'm going to pop it. We're going to go from there. So strong start from us. Enamorous picking up a big time KO onto the Poison type. And that Pokemon did outspeed me. So we could have just ripped into me. So Basket Legion is going to take full speed here. And that is rather scary, right? Because I don't know if I should Terrasilize or not. I'm not going to Thrasilize. I'm just going to go for a Springtide Storm here. I'm going to Tailwind just to match the speed. Basket Legion is going to go next, which is really scary. If he goes for a Wave Crash in me, actually, I outspeed that. And Springtide Storm is missing both Pokemon? I think it's the only Genie move that's not 100% accuracy in the rain. That is wild. That that was wild. Double miss on the 80% accuracy move. I do get a speed boost from Icy Wind, which is good. Hurricane is going to deal some nice damage to Tornadus and take him out. Come on, man! Springtide Storm missing like that? You really be missing like that? Okay, I feel you. So I'm gonna go Urshfu this turn. That hurts. That really hurts. I probably should have went Grimstone and just pick out the Pelipper. But you know what? I'm gonna sucker punch you down. I'm gonna just get rid of Bastion Legion, and I'm still gonna go for a Springtide Storm. That one land this move. I actually haven't seen it yet. I have not seen this move. So Pelipper opts to protect. We might not even see it here. Because Earth Street's probably going to take out Basket Legion. 
Sucker Punch coming hot here. We do not take him out. Enamorous go first. Can you land it? Can you land it, please? Cool. So it looks really cool. It's basically just Bleak Windstorm, but a lot cuter, a lot pinker. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But yo, Contrary worked out well there. We got a speed boost from Icy Wind for it. And now we're going up against his final two Pokemon. So obviously I could Sucker Punch into Pelipper, and that's going to be my play. And then from here, since we are faster than Thunderous, I am just going to throw a Moonblast. Maybe I should Terrasilize, but... I mean, we, we chilling. We chilling. We are chilling. We should be chilling. I'm kind of scared. Pelper opts to go for that double protect. And that was a smart play. Because that keeps Pelper alive. I should have not went for the Sucker Punch, right? That's good. Enamor's going to deal some big time damage here. Halfing it up. And we'll see what they want to go from here. What do you want to do? You're just going to go for a Thunder. So he's going to take me out. Um. Okay. I think we're fine. I still think we're fine. We got Grimstrong on the back end. He can fake out. We got Urshfu. And now it's Urshfu at full HP. I think it might be. And if it is, that means we have Focus Ash. The Tailwinds go out for them. And from here, since we have Tailwind for next turn, I might not even fake out. I might not even fake out. Do we have Tailwind next turn? We do. We definitely go for Wicked Blow to finish this thing off. And then from here, I think we just go for Spirit Break. Actually, we'll fake out just in case. You never know. The fake out's gonna come out here and. You could dodge a fake. You could dodge a fake out? If your evasiveness is up, you can dodge a fake out? I did not know that. That is the most wild thing I've ever seen. That is insane, but that's hilarious at the same time. We end up finishing off the Thunders and we pretty much win this match. He's plus two on evasiveness. If you start dodging moves, I'm going to be very upset. But I'm just going to go for Sucker Punches. I'm going to go for Spirit Breaks. Should be game, set, match. They end up canceling anyway. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-0. and oh. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in that third and final. Hopping into our third and final battle for today's video. Looking for a perfect record. Let's see who we're going up against. A really powerhouse of a team. Basky Legion, Hisuian Samurai, Sneasler, Wochen, Cresselia, and Zapdos? That's such a cool team, but my boy Enamorous is going to be able to do work onto two of them. Um, Sneezer could come out here for a lead, which could be a little bit of a problem. But I'm going to lead Grimstarls just so I can fake out, have Tornadus in the back end, and then last but not least, lock out with my Urshfu. I'm really liking that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a perfect record. But this team right here might give me my first loss on the casual ladder for Regulation D. I don't know why. I have a weird feeling that this team's going to rip into me. We'll see. We shall definitely see. But yeah, I just have an odd feeling about it. They look, the Pokemon look too strong. And Sneasler is the real deal. It's a very fast Pokemon that can hit very hard with an amazing typing of Poison and Fighting. I really like it. But they're going to go Woe Chen and Shiny Cresselia. That thing looks insanely good. And from here, I'm just going to fake out the Cresselia turn one. And I'm going to pop a Moonblast into the Woe Chen. I think that's a simple play. A very, very simple play. So I'm going to fake out the Crest. Hopefully it's not Curve Cloak. I think they might be looking to pop Tailwind or something. We'll see. We shall see, but Cresselia is the real deal. Top tier Trick Room Pokemon. I will be showcasing that Pokemon rather soon. But we're just going to fake it out and make it flinch, which is good. Moonblast now going to fly. Almost one shot in Wochen. Is this thing sashed, or did you just get lucky? It just got lucky. So now he leeches up. He's definitely going to protect next turn, so I might swap. I might swap. We get the flinch on the crest. Um, hmm, I could parting shot with that, which could be good for us. But I might swap the Enamorous. Because Wochen's got to protect, right? Wochen has got to protect. So I'm going to bring out Urshfu in that slot. And I'm just going to parting shot the Cresselia. That's going to be my play. Because Wochen, 1000% protecting. It's, it, it wants Leech Seed. There's no way it doesn't protect. There's just no shot it doesn't protect. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't protect. It probably wants to just soak up the Leech Seed, get back as much HP as it possibly can. I just don't see it not protecting, right? Unless you don't have protect, which would be very odd. It would be very odd. But we end up swapping the Enamorous, taking off the lead Seeds on that slot, and bringing out Urshfu to deal with that crest. We are then... Oh, you are then going to ally switch. So now Prankster's not going to work. That kind of hurts. And now Parting Shot's going to do nothing. 
He's probably gonna leech seed me again. He gets just, just a straight Giga Drain. That's fine. That's totally fine. And now from here, you know what? I'm just gonna go Urshfu, Wicked Blow right in the Cresselia slot, and just a nice little Spirit Break into the Wuchen slot. Okay. I'm feeling good about this. Urshfu is an absolute bulk, but Urshfu should be able to just rip into that thing, right? Unless it terrestrializes. Hmm, but very bulky Pokemon out on the field. Dropping physical attack too, what Chen does. I was really hoping that that Enamorous could KO, but it didn't. It gave it a free Poke Stash. But Wicked Boy is going to fly here. Doing a nice chunk of damage. Not picking up the KO. But still, I like the damage. And he's going to leech me up. That's fine, because this Spirit Break should be able to come out here and take out Chen, Right? It should be able to finish off Chen. I really hope it does. It does. Cool. So we get rid of Wo Chen. Leech Seeds are now gone. And we're pretty thriving here. We're thriving pretty well here in match number three. Now that Trick Room comes out here. That's a little scary. The Trick Room's a little scary. I still have Focus Ash on my, uh, on my Urshfu. And I'm thinking of parting shotting with Grimstar to bring out Enamorous, maybe. But Samurai's gonna fly here. So Samurai comes out here. I could punch on that thing, which I kind of want to, right? I kind of just want to close combat that because I can't parting shot into it. So I'm going to close combat drop that and I'm going to parting shot into Tresselia. God dang, dark types. Too many dark types I'm going up against. Can't use my prankster. Can't use my prankster moves. So I'm just going to spirit break into... Uh, not spirit break. I'm going to parting shot into Cresselia and swap into Enamorous here. Just so I can get fake out in the back end with Grimstraw again. But I wonder what he does with Samurai. Kinda hoping he just protects it, because then I can close combat, punch right through it, and KO it. The only way we get in a bad position is if they double down into Urshfu here. That'd be the only way, right? The parting shot's gonna fly here. No terrors come out here. And I'm going to swap into probably Enamorous, right? I like Enamorous in this situation. They're solid up against the Dark Typers. I'm gonna bring back out Enamorous. We still have all four Pokemon, which is really good for us. And he's gonna go for an Aqua Cutter here. Like I said, you just can't double down into me. You're gonna Lunar Blessing. And that just heals you, right? I'm fine with that. Chris Elliott, you can heal all you want. That's fine. Close combat. We'll finish this thing off. Samrot, get on out of here. So we get rid of Samrot. Our defense is down. Urshfu probably dies out next turn. I'm gonna look to drop a Sucker Punch onto somebody. So we know that thing has Ally Switch, we know it has Trick Room, we know it has Lunar Blessing. It has to have an attacking move, and I don't know if I should Sucker Punch into that. Now I'm going to Sucker Punch into Basket Legion. So Basket Legion comes out here, I am going to go for Sucker Punch into that slot, and just Moon Blast down the Cresselia. So I'd be surprised if this thing doesn't Terrastalize. I feel like a lot of people who I burst on the casual ladder don't Terrastalize. Which is weird. Definitely is a little weird. But still, yo, we're thriving here. Urshifu's here. Sucker Punch gonna land. It's gonna KO that thing. It does not KO it. Ouch. Banifor is gonna come out here from Basket Legion. It's gonna dodge this turn, and we're gonna get off some decent damage on the Cresselia. Who's going to Moonblast down my Urshifu. Okay, I feel ya. I understand. I understand. Enamor's gonna rip into a Moonblast. Cresselia soaks rather well. Like I said, that thing is really, really bulky. And from here, we could just bring out Grimstraw and fake out again. Probably your play, right? 100%. 100%. So I'm going to fake out the crest. I doubt it has protect, and I'm just going to double down into it. The fake out coming into the crest. And actually, let's just do this. Instead of faking out, actually, let's fake out. And we'll go into another moon blast. So I'll double down the crest. Fake out coming in here. Klapskis. Cresselia flinches. And let's see who your fan of person. My Enamorous. Who dies to that? Kind of hurts the soul. The Trick Room is almost gone. The Trick Room actually could be gone very, very soon. Kind of need to end, because this match is actually rather close. Actually, really close. Because that thing's probably going to Lunar Blessing, which could be annoying, right? It could definitely be annoying. How many turns left in Trick Room? There is one. We're going to try to get rid of this Basket Legion here with the Spirit Break. Then on top of that, I'm just going to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. No need for me to set up a Tailwind. But Spirit Break's going to fly here. It is going to take out Basket Legion. Cool. And can we outspeed the crest so it doesn't Lunar Blessing? It is going to Lunar Blessing. You little biscuit, man. You're just going to be a pain in the neck with crest. Crest is minus one, which is really good. I think it's a nice chunk of HP back. Liquid Storm does land, chunking it up, and that's going to be game set match. That is going to be game set match. We get the speed drop. Trick Room's gone. 
I can now go for Spirit Break. I can go for Bleak Wind Storm. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 yet again on the casual ladder. I'm just too good on the casual ladder. We're just absolutely ripping on it. Bleak Wind Storm comes out there. Cresselia, get on out of here. And we take that perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, an enamorous team that you guys can try out for yourselves for Regulation D. This team was absolutely amazing. I love the Stone Journal on it. I loved everything about it. We had the Grimstarl, Tornadus, and Amoongus for great support. And then you had Urshfu and Enamorous doing the heavy lifting, picking up all the damages, and picking up the KOs. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.